So let's talk about this dress. So this is the Charlotte Kahn tie dress. So I just made this a couple days ago. I made it in an extra large. Let me just give you a 360 of how it looks. Cute, right? All right. The pattern instructions weren't as clear as they could have been. Like for instance, how to lay this panel piece. So this is a panel and this is considered the tie. Okay, so I don't really like it. I'm gonna modify it, but I don't really like it right now. This is straight out of the package. This is how it looks. It has these tie panels. So it's not really a tie. I was thinking that it was gonna be more of a pattern piece to tie it or like more fabric to tie it but yeah this is it so that's the panel piece and this is how it looks without it being tied i haven't even hemmed it by the way so if i just left it there it's like right at my knees so the panels start like kind of like a drop waist and then you tie it with these little with the little end pieces of fabric basically and i didn't even hem it hem the edges. I started to, I put a basting stitch there to hem it, but I just, I wasn't happy with it. So I didn't even bother, but yeah, you just use this to tie it. So it does tie, but like I said, I just thought it was going to be more fabric. And then it's supposed to have a, like a baggy look in the front. You can see from the picture, it's kind of slouchy here. So that's why I kind of like hiked it up a little bit to kind of give it that baggy look. And it has little cuff pieces. So that's how the cuffs look. The fabric that I used was from this uh, blue and gray knit that I got from Discount Fabric Outlet. What I didn't really like about this pattern were the instructions and in how to put it together. So this whole tie situation, the way they tell you to lay it, they don't really explain it that great. And then at the bottom, there's this, I mean, and it went okay. I did it okay, but underneath it's like that because you hem this part. It has like a curved hem for this piece, even though this kind of overlaps it. So it's kind of like, I guess, pointless for the curved hem. You know what I mean? But anyways, it has you stitch up the side seam with the panel sandwiched in between the front and the back. Oh, look at that nice uh, pattern matching, right? And then you, you stitch it all the way down to here. And then you lift this part up, this little flat part and then you stitch the panel in the back together, if that makes sense. So, I don't know. It just, I mean, I figured it out, but it was just not, it wasn't the easiest instructions. It comes with a patch pocket on one side and I just left it off. This is it. It's a nice, simple, kind of like a twist to the t-shirt pattern. If I made it again, I think I would raise the panels, maybe start an inch or two higher, just make them longer. Um, and then also maybe add a little fabric to the ties, I think. Even though, I mean, it kind of works, but I don't know if it would work as well with if I would have hemmed it. So it looks cute and I wanted to come on and document it since this is one of my 2022 makes. I doubt I'll be making it again and I might take off the panels. If I made it again, I might actually just leave the panels off because it's actually a cute dress without the panels. Like it's just a nice cute t-shirt dress. And I could actually maybe even wear it like this. I mean, that could be a style, right? <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I just wanted to come on and show you. 
one of my latest makes. Let me know your thoughts. All right, bye.